God has carefully and tenderly created every person in his own image and likeness to be in a loving relationship with him. From each tiny child knit within a mother's womb to every person approaching death, all are loved perfectly and completely by God. Christ calls us to embrace and uphold the unconditional dignity of every human life. May the Holy Spirit continually renew us as we strive to faithfully defend God's gift of life. Today is the ninth day of our novena, and we conclude our novena mass in respect for life by celebrating this Holy Eucharist for giving thanks to God for the gift of human life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Creator, we give thanks to you who alone have the power to impart the breath of life. As you form each of us in our mother's womb, Grant, we pray, that we whom you have made stewards of creation may remain faithful to this sacred trust and constant in safeguarding the dignity of human life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay, but my just one shall live by faith. And if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, 
for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow, as he knows not how. Of his own accord, the land yields fruit, for the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up, and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. With the parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. I'm very happy to celebrate this Eucharist with you, especially for us who have completed our Novena Mass in thanksgiving for the gift of life and our prayer for the respect and sanctity of life. And today, this Holy Eucharist, as we concluded, we continue to lift our prayers to the loving Lord that the human life would still be respected and also be given the sanctity of it. I could still remember my experience. I was still a few weeks old here in my ministry in the Diocese of Richmond, where I was able to encounter a young lady, let's just call her in the name of Anna, and she just also arrived in this country, and she served as a nurse. And because of her skills, she was easily um, promoted, and she also has given a lot of tasks in the hospital. There are some circumstances in her life, and as she has shared to me, um, she got pregnant. And that is the reason why we met in a coffee shop, and she was crying. And she told me that a week from that, she is going to have an abortion. I was really very touch that time that I just don't know what I'm going to tell her. And she was the one giving me a lot of things and her sharing. Her co-workers would even tell her that 
well, you can get rid of it. I, I'm also surprised about the word get rid of it and describing the unborn child in her womb as it, like you can get rid of it anytime and she entertains it too. Well, let's all her Anna continue to pray to the Lord that I know you ask him for the strength that you need. I don't want to argue with you or give a lot of insights for I know from your heart as a mother, you are the only one who could sacredly discern the will of God for you. But this is the only thing that I just would like to pray and tell you at this point in time. Just give your heart that one last chance for that baby in your womb, for your child, to be given a life in this world. And I know for sure the feelings right now that you see and feel, it would be different when later on in the past few months, you're going to see your child alive again. And then she was still telling me that, you know, Father, I'm still very disappointed because I'm going to lose my job and everything and all that. Well, I told her that discern more, pray more, and you will find and see later what God would truly tell you. And then she was still telling me about her mind, and she was still not able to decide on that time. But I told her and constantly, call me anytime if you would like to talk to me. And I'm always constantly praying for you. So all of us in the parish, we were praying for her, and there were times that some of the mothers that we have there was able to also journey with her and um, talk to her in our own capacity. But to cut the story short, my dear friends, Anna, in the last few months, I haven't heard about her. But in the next few weeks, maybe it's already the time that um, she is able to decide and I've heard from her aunt that um, she wasn't able to continue with her plan. But it's the most touching part. On the time when she delivered her baby, she just simply told me, well, thank you, Father. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for letting me see the things that I am not seeing before. And that day when I held my baby in my hands, there I realized how wonderful and beautiful life is. It was also very touching to that event that she invited me to baptize her baby. And the time when I also baptized her baby, I just just tears fell in my eyes and just I realized how it is life and the life and the role of the mother could just mysteriously give life in this world. I cannot explain it in our own human parlance, but you know, as what I have always shared before, when we celebrated Mary, Mother of God, the gift of motherhood is something that is a great privilege that a woman, that only, only a woman has given this kind of gift to give life to all the world. And of course, it is always also the sacred role of the father as well, is in one way or the other, could also take part in bringing forth life in this world. Every January, I always joined the March for Life, and I was just moved to see families walking together on that march. I know it, it, they are not all Catholics, they're not all Christians, but they are families, persons 
who believe that life from birth and natural death is something that it is given to us by the loving God. Of all the many mysteries in this world, probably, my dear friends, that we could see, it is the reflection about birth and death. It's the one that is very mysterious in a way that we could not explain. But one thing is for sure. It is only God could give the breath of life. And it's only God that knows when it shall end. And thus, therefore, my dear friends, what is our role in this world? Our role is just simply to accept and let the hand of God work in each human life that he is given to all of us. No and none of us in this world could ever take away one's life. And I think, for all of us who follow the words of our Lord Jesus, we by heart knows all of this, that we must safeguard the sanctity of life from birth to natural death. That is why, as we also pray for the end of abortion, we also consistently pray for the end of death penalty. Because for all of us, who believe that only God alone can all and have give life to all of us. This is one sacred appreciation of the very mysteries that God has given us. And so, my dear friends, today we also pray for conversion. We pray for all the conversion of hearts, that all of us and all humanity would be able to see and find in themselves that truly life is sacred. That also by compassion of heart, we could always learn that truly the life of the unborn, the life of the helpless, the life of the innocent must be given their chance of living in this world. The way each and every one of us we're privileged to live in this world. Why not the unborn be given the chance to live the life that only God has given them? And so as we all together pray today in this Mass and thanksgiving for the gift of life, may each life be sanctified and respected the way that God has mysteriously and perfectly designed each life in this world. And thus, getting and accepting that stewardship that God has given us, that sacred role of taking good care of life, is a measure I know for sure that God would be seeing us and looking at us at the end of our lives. Truly, God will ask us this question. How have you taken good care of the life that I have given you? How have you loved the life of others? How have you compassionately given and shared that sanctity and gift of life for yourselves and with others as well? May all human life be respected and sanctified from birth to natural death. May the loving Lord also continue to give us the grace for conversion that humanity would be respected, especially the gift of human life. Amen. God has carefully and tenderly created every person in his own image and likeness to be a loving relationship with him. From each tiny child dit within the mother's womb to every person approaching death, all are loved perfectly and completely by God. Christ calls us to embrace and uphold the unconditional dignity of every human life. May the Holy Spirit continually renew us as we strive to faithfully defend God's gift of life.
for all people throughout the world, that they might recognize and treat each person as a masterpiece of God's creation. We pray to the Lord. For the poor, the homeless, and all who are in need, that they may receive love, respect, and the material assistance they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those facing an unexpected pregnancy, that the peace of Christ may fill their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we may listen to the Lord's voice and follow him with trust. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May all who defend life Find strength and renewal in the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Betty Jean Pierre, special intention, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And we join all our prayers by praying our Novena prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the precious gift of life. Help us to cherish and protect this gift, even in the midst of fear, pain, and suffering. Give us love for all the people, especially the most vulnerable, and help us bear witness to the truth that every life is worth living. Grant us the humility to accept help when we are in need, and teach us to be merciful to all. Through our words and actions, may others encounter the outstretched hands of your mercy. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, world without them. Amen. Please be seated. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rests in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. My God, I am not proud, I do not look for things to great. Like a child rests in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rests in his mother's arms, so will I rest in Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our humble offerings, O Lord of the living, and unite us to the perfect sacrifice of your Son, that through whom you have made all creation new, who live and reigns forever and ever. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with the angels and archangels, the thrones and the dominions and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the check chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. My dear friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Lastly, this sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God, which we have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community. As for the prize of whom you have to visit and return, call now God's peace and blessing. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Lord of Christ, sin you break me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Oh good Jesus, hear me. With your wounds, sign me. Separated from you, let me never be. The legal one. They are by that call me. And close to you bid me, that with your saints I may be praising you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Increase your love within us, Lord God. By saving mysteries, we have celebrated and bring people everywhere to respect your gift of human life. To Christ our Lord. We now pray to our loving Mother. O Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. This time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us in the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son. Jesus, Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered. We now go in the peace, celebrating the life that God has given us. Thanks be to God.